Hello and welcome back to Nuffy Plays The Secrets of Grindia. You fuckers ready for some Wombat combat? Up in here, Wombat soups bring in the pain like hot scalding water for some sort of dish that uses hot water. I can't think of one. Maybe like tiramisu. I know how to make tiramisu. Also, we have to fight a boss in this episode. I don't know where to find the boss. I found the boss. Let's do this. We've already seen this. Fuck you. It's Gundam. Do you get it? It's a Gundam joke. I don't know why I'm so salty. I think that's just my default now, which is bad, because, uh, well, if you just live your life like an asshole, people are going to treat you like an asshole. I mean, it's just simple cause and effect. And I like, I want people to like me. I mean, I don't like people, but I want them to like me. That, mean, that sounds incredibly selfish, because I guess the way I phrase that, it is. Okay, two's enough, and down we go. Woohoo, I didn't get hurt this time. Fantastic. So, oh! Uh, so, if my audio sounds a little bit better, I did a few things to make it a little better. Uh, I hope it sounds better, or else I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be kinda pissed, cause I kinda, I worked pretty hard on this, but uh, for starters, whoa, I uh, I got one of those like, uh, rubber tins, well not rubber, but plastic tins that you like store shit in, and I took a bunch of mattress foam and just sprayed it all over the sides of it, or glued it all over. And glued it to the suck. God, I'm trying to focus on this game and the bullet hell shit while telling this story. But I took adhesive glue, or spray adhesive, sprayed it on the sides, and stuck the mattress foam or whatever on the sides to make sort of like a sound, a vocalization, a little vocal booth. And it's just sitting on my desk. And, uh, oh shit! Shit, shit, shit! No, no, I don't want to die. I'm so close. Uh, uh. And I'm, uh, I'm really hoping that it makes my voice sound better. And on top of that, I also found out... Oh, I'm really embarrassed by this one. I had my microphone standing the wrong way, like it was facing the wrong direction. So, uh, that also made it sound like shit. Oh, hey! Oh, don't kill me. Ah, 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 ah. I'm scared, I'm scared. What do I do? Oh, uh, what is this bullshit? Oh, no, no, no. Oh no, oh come on, come on, I already won, don't do this to me. This isn't fair! <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna be so- Oh, you're fucking kidding me! Listen up, you almost- Yeah, I know I almost had it, you fucking piece of shit, its health was gone. That's bullcrap. <laughs> Whatever, let's do it again. God damn it. Oh well. At least now I kinda know what to do. And by kinda know what to do, I mean I already know what to do. It's not theory, it's execution that's the problem. Oh, fuck. Okay, don't get hit. Just don't ever get hit and you can't lose. People don't realize that when they play video games. If you just take no damage, then you're fine. Like, I mean, shit, it's so simple. God, people. And myself included. I don't know why I said you people. I'm also fucking up. Oh, oh, time to get down. Woohoo! Just in the nick of fucking time. Just in the sin- Oh, I thought of another awesome cheesy movie. Uh, fucking, uh, an action movie? Or action movie, not moving. God damn it! An action movie! Starring Santa Claus! And it's called Just in the Saint Nick of Time. Holy fucking shit. Holiday blockbuster. Am I right or am I fucking right? Really though, that actually sounds really, really terrible. <laughs> Oh, speaking of terrible movies, I may have talked about this before, but I still think it's funny. I was like, thought of an idea for like a really shitty, like, C plus at best action movie starring David Blaine, and it's called David Payne, and it's a, he's like a crime fighter, and he works his magic tricks into stopping crime. Like, uh, the few examples I could think of was like, uh, there's a hostage situation, and the guy holding the gun against like, some defenseless man or woman's head is like he's like I'm about to shoot and David Payne comes in he's like before you shoot I want you to reach into your pocket and then the criminal reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a folded up card and he's like what the fuck is this and then David Payne's like before you open that he pulls out of his own pocket the two of hearts he's like is this your card and the dude opens the card and inside of it is the two of hearts like, you see it sticking out of the corner, and then he opens it slightly more, and there's a full fucking pistol in it, and it shoots him in the face. <laughs> oh, wait, first. Curse it all! If I knew one freedom thwarted by a snot-nosed child, my vet, my vet was badly chosen. To bring this world to its knees, I'll need something more befitting of my limitless power.
For exposing the deficiencies of this metal golem, I have a generous proposition for you. Become my slave and carry me through this pathetic world in search for a new vessel, and I shall spare your life. Why does why do all my evil voices sound slightly Jamaican? Find a sidekick of your own amulet. This one already has a master. Fuck you, bag! A fellow sentient artifact. Perhaps fortune shines upon me after all. A king will need generals. <laughs> Lofty ambitions for a mere possess... <laughs> that string of yours still bears the smell of your owner's neck. Owner? Nonsense. How can a slave own his master? Here long vacation has made you senile, it seems. Oh well. Looks like the place to hide... S or, looks like this place hit some real juicy loot after all, kid. Let's bring this thing back to the collector's HQ. I'm expecting great rewards. Dare not speak of me as some mere rabbit drop. Your laughable delusions end here, peasants. Let me show you the true power of an artifact deity. Oh shit! Oh, never mind. Ah, huh. uh, well, enough fun for one day. Let's get back to Evergrind. I hope you haven't forgotten how to use a teleportation device. Just go into the ma fuck you. I know how to use it. I hope you haven't forgotten how to use it because I'm going to explain it to you in case you you'd forgot how to use it. Anyway, uh, David Payne. That's right. The other uh, example for David Payne I had was um, if he like uh, there was like a oh a bank robbery and there's a bunch of people tied up inside the bank and then the police are like oh no we have to get all these hostages 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 that's hard to say hostages out of here because there's a bomb in the safe and then they locked it and left and it's like. David Payne comes in, he's like, do you really think there's a bomb in there? He's like, yes, we have to hurry. He's like, open up the safe. Oh, that douchebag again. Hasn't your father, hasn't your father taught you anything? Commoners should make way for nobility. Peasants these days. Oh, but I must compliment you on one thing. You fucker! This amulet was quite the find. It will fit perfectly in my family's artifact collection. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my bum. What? How did- Unforgivable! Don't let him get away, kid. Yeah, I'm gonna beat this dude into the fucking ground and then rip his ponytail up through his ass, out his mouth. Or the other way around, but you know what I mean. Anyway, there's a bomb in the safe, and they're like, open up the safe. And they do. And the police open it up, and it's not there. And they're like, what the fuck? And, and they're like, alright, officer. Or David Blaine, David Payne, excuse me. It's like, alright, officer, I need you to give me that phone of yours. And he gives it to him. And he just clicks a button. All of a sudden, you hear it ringing. And then at the other end of the phone is the burner phone of the criminals in the getaway car. And they're like, how did you get this number? And they're like, before I answer that, I need you to open your glove compartment. And they do. And it's the fucking bomb. <laughs> and it's like three, two, one, blows up and kills the robbers. And then like, <laughs> you see David, Blaine, David Payne give the phone back to the officer. And he's like, I love that trick. It's a blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'd love to watch this movie. Oh. oh, and then there's this dickhead. I'm very close to ending this episode, so. Oh wait, no I'm not, what am I talking about? We're gonna fight this dickhead. I have bad timing skills. You really, you really want to give up, will you? Oh wait, how was his voice? <laughs> Let me seize this opportunity to teach you a lesson about the social order. If you accused me of stealing this amulet, who do you think they'd believe? The word of some mountain kid, or that of a noble. The moment I lifted this thing out of your dirty pouch, it was mine in the eyes of the law. But then again, I haven't gotten practice. I haven't got to practice my fencing in quite some time. So let's settle li this like your kind would. Okay, sweet. I get to fight this dude. If you can defeat me, you can have your trinket back. I'll show you how a gentleman fights. In the guard. <laughs> Marino. Oh, what a douchey name too. I don't know. This guy is actually probably pretty strong, so I gotta be careful. Marino. Oh yeah, that's right. What am I doing? I just gotta brute force it. Come on, bring it. Ha! Oh fuck, he does a combo. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, so he's not, uh... He's a total dick, but he's not bluffing, at least. Oh, what I mean, at least? That's bad. If he were bluffing, I'd just kick his ass and be done with it. Ha! Ha! Whoa! Hey! You cut that shit out. It's very rude. <laughs> Fucking stupid asshole. I have a shield. How's your fencing gonna hold up against my shield? You know that fucking metal slab I have? It's a shield. The thing that blocks fencing swords is my shield. Oh my god! I will not lose to this fucker! Suck my ass dry. 
Damn it! First the Luke, and now this dimwit! Take your worthless trinket, I have no use for it. Yay! I got it back. <laughs> Let that be a life lesson, brat. Never steal things from people stronger than you. That was quite the enjoyable diversion, but we have business to attend to. Let's get back to the collector's HQ and turn this thing in. I fucking just wrecked your life. I hope you sit there until you die. Sit on your sword. Do it! Okay, that was enough of that. So, we did some stuff here. I'm super glad. I finally made some progress, and it feels good. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. If you watched or commented, liked, whatever, I really do appreciate it. So, I'll see you then. Bye, folks.